hello friends welcome to my channel so i'm there with another video friends i made a new format it's a format but it's fully automatic and it's like an application so with the help of this format you'll be able to create invoice so this is the invoice format you'll be able to uh, maintain your inventory because it has sale purchase entry i'll show you so this is the page where your entry will be done this is the purchase master there whatever the ingredients you will purchase you can make the entries over here then we have the item list we have account master as well so whatever the selling is being done you can maintain the accounting section also at this place so i'll show you step by step how does this format work so at the top i keep some buttons like invoice item list customer list account master sale data and purchase master and uh, at this place all the information will be updated automatically so this page basically fully automatic nothing you have to do below we have product based report and at the right side we have customer based report so this page is fully automatic so when you open this file you will see this page first and uh, let's make some entries and i'll show you how does this format work so first we click on invoice before click on invoice let's go to the item list and add one more item so first thing is first i'll tell you that you enter only the item name like oil for example and the unit will be a liter one liter oil is purchasing price is 150 and the selling price will be 200 rupees right and then we have to set the reorder level so what is reorder level reorder level that will give you the reminder when uh, whatever the reorder level you have set if the item quantity will be below that level you will get the reminder so i'll set here five liters whenever your oil will be less than five liter in a stock so it will show you the reminder see at this place like it's saying order order then right side this is our inventory section and this part of the data will be updated automatically so i already i have add one item oil and then i go back using this arrow or even you can use the page tab also so i'll use this arrow then go back then we click on customer list add a new customer so at this place i take mr jane contact number will be same because i'm not going to write i'll make copy paste contact number and email id is mandatory because contact number and email id will be there on your invoice also whenever you select this party name then address you can write the proper address for that party then gst number also mandatory i'll just simply copy paste to save some time so right side we have the transaction report total transaction total paid total due for each and every party then we are done so we click invoice so when you download this format some other things you have to do i write in details here you can see change the logo first so this is the logo if you don't have logo for your brand simply whatever the concept you have if you have shop or something like that you can simply take a photo of any product or something related to your business and you can uh, upload at this place so how you can upload simply you can click this insert then see picture so click picture and it will show your desktop you can choose any photo resize it and just place it here that's all second you have to change the brand name so this is the brand name click here and whatever the brand name you have you can simply change from at this place then you can change the address phone number and email id so this is the address phone number and email id you have to change then we have gst number so this is the gst number you have changed whatever the gst number you have then bank details will be here at this place then you have to change qr code and signature so this is the qr code from my google uh, pay or uh, if you don't have google pay you can you can keep here like any qr code you have that can be a uh, use for you know digital payment so you can uh, simply take the screenshot of your qr code and crop it 
and then upload it similar way go to insert and then upload it from the desktop the signature you can sign on a paper and then take a photo of it crop and then place it simple so only uh, these things you have to do and the rest of the things is fully automatic so i will create one invoice when you click bill to next to the bill to see a drop down list is there so what about the party name you save customer list in customer list whatever the party have saved all the name will be appear here so i select jane because recently i have add mr jane when i select mr jane as you can see the phone number and email id already pop up then i'll start selecting item that what are the items i'm going to sell to mr jane so i'll give him oil then onion see when i select oil and onion rest of the data like unit and rate is automatically pop up i will select here only the quantity like oil i will give him two liter and onion three kgs so only that much when i enter the quantity the amount already calculated and reflecting here so below we have a remark section if you want to write anything related to this party or something if he has too much due or something you can mention at this place and then we have the gst cgst and hgst you can change as per your requirement so i just simply keep at 12 12 percent and then if you want to give any discount you can mention at this place if you want to charge like if there is any additional charge like packaging charge or delivery charge something so you can mention here or just simply if there is nothing then keep it as it is and click here save invoice when i click same invoice data saved successfully that means the entire invoice data has been saved why it has saved it has saved in cell data i'll show you later on but before that if you want to take a print of this format simply click here print so you see a beautiful print view is here so this format is really look amazing simple and cute see i'm back and this is my invoice when you done with the print when you take up so if you can take print or you can simply save it as a pdf because it's digital time uh, so you can save this invoice as a pdf or you can make a print out of it and when you're done simply click clear and new invoice so what it will do it will change the invoice number and clear all the data from the invoice see now the invoice is fully empty so i'm done i show you how we can make the invoice when you make the invoice you can see the oil that the product we have add in item list and the customer that we have add in customer list is already added at this place and you can see some other transactions like purchase quantity is not there for onion and oil but we have sold like three kg onion and two kg two liter oil and even in uh, mr jane you can see total transaction is 756 total paid zero and due amount is 756 because there is no transaction only uh, we sold him but we haven't received any so it's total amount showing in due section so now i'll show you what you have to do first we go to the purchase and we make some purchase like we take some onion for now as you can see stock in hand onion is minus three because before we purchase we sell it because we make invoice and when i select onion you can see you need quantity price of that onion and date is automatically reflecting at this place uh, and the date is current date today's date stock in hand is minus three uh, purchase quantity so i'll take uh, purchase i'll enter 10 kg of onion so you can see the amount is 500 if there has any discount you're getting a, any discount from the supplier then you can add the amount here if not then simply submit now when i select onion again you will see the stock in hand is showing seven kgs because the unit is kgs right then i'll make another purchase like oil because oil also we didn't purchase but we sell oil to mr jane so i'll take oil also 10 liter and then submit so we made two entry for purchase also now i'll go back to dashboard and i'll show you now we have onion purchase 10 oil also 10 liter and sale is three and two for customer mr jane the transaction is still there the same there is no uh, amount we have received yet 
as you can see at this place number of customer we have two number of product we have to purchase quantity is 20 purchase cost is 2000 sell quantity is 5 sell value is this much total discount 0 total revenue 0 total due 0 total revenue 0 total due is 5 7 6 7 5 6 point 40 so now i'll make some entry in account master because already we have create invoice we add one item in item list we add one customer in customer list we uh, made the sale entries also we sell mr jane so this is the invoice number 103 we sold oil and onion the quantity is 2 kg uh, 3 kg of onion and 2 liter of oil so the price and you can see the subtotal amount is here now i'll make some entries in account master so i click account master and i'll select mr jane and you can see mr jane the information of mr jane is here phone number gst number and the date is today's date total transaction is 756 total paid zero and the entire amount is in due so i'll make some entries like 500 suppose today we got 500 rupees from mr jane and i submit so this is the date party name is mr jane previous due amount was 756 we have received 500 and current due amount is 256 so our account also start updating now if i show you the dashboard so you can see the total revenue is 500 and total is still due is 256 so our data is start updating so let's make another invoice for mr bain i take only on like 3 kgs and simply i'll save just to show you see this file is so easy to use now i'll go to the dashboard now there will be due for mr bain also 260 rupees so i'll go to the account master from here i'll select mr bain and as you can see 260 rupees is due so i'll take uh, 100 like we we have received 100 from mr bain and submit so in our dynamic dashboard also the data update automatically so now we have total transaction total paid from mr bain is 100 just now we have enter the amount and the du amount is 160.4 so that's how it works so with the help of this format you will be able to create invoice and then uh, you can uh, maintain your inventory as well as you can maintain your account when you think that any entity you made wrong so you click on the party name and simply you can click delete so the entry will be delete and this one also so that's how we can delete the entries uh, if i go to the purchase also there will be the same you can give the multi selection also no problem so i delete the entries so i delete from account master i delete from purchase master there we have the sale entries whenever i want to delete the sale entries so you have to delete the entire sale entries so i click here clear all data yes so all data gone i come to the customer list so i give the selection till gst and we delete the record from your keyboard then we have item list item list also will be same but make sure that you delete you give the selection from item name to reorder level don't select the reminder section because inside the reminder section has formula if the formula will delete you will get some error so only select till reorder level and press delete button from your keyboard and delete it this is the invoice section nothing you have to do and we are back to the dashboard now as you can see all the data we have entered recently is gone because we delete all the record from purchase account and sale so there is no data at all it's fully empty only one number of customer is one and product number one product is one these are the demo product i have kept so that's how this format work this format is super easy and very useful the download link will be in description box so you can download it
you can use this formula for lifetime you can store a lot of data because it is simple excel file so friends if you want to download this file the link will be in description box download this file and one time download and you can use this file for lifetime so thank you very much for watching this video